and happy Friday. I hope that you guys woke up well this morning and are hoping that you guys are having a great day so far, wherever you are at. Today is about, I don't know, 62 degrees outside right now, but it's supposed to get almost to 80, to get 80 today. So I actually have a cute little black dress on um, and I just have a white cardigan on um, just in case I get chilly, which is highly likely because I like burn up. And then um, I actually have some sandals on and my white legs are showing and I am no longer like CEO of that no shave for the winter club. I shaved my legs this morning. Very, very nice. But they're just so white. I need to go tan. But um, that's not going to happen. I used to go to the tanning bed like all the time and then I kind of got like freaked out about the tanning bed. Um, I love, let me just, I love going tanning. I love tanning. I love laying in the tanning bed. It's so co um, comfy and relaxing and just like, <sighs> I just kind of feel like I'm on a tropical island somewhere and I can close my eyes and listen to my music. It's so nice. But it just kind of freaks me out a little bit because I don't like that like enclosedness. So I always left, kind of like left the thingy up just a little bit, the top. But I also get afraid for like skin cancer and stuff. So I um, I haven't gone to a tanning bed probably in two years. I could be wrong with that. It may have been, it could, well actually it might be two years. I, I know I never went one day last year and I don't think I went, oh it may have been three years. I don't know, it's been a while. Um, but today is very foggy outside for right now until the sun decides to come out and take all the fog away. I was supposed to go yesterday to take my car in to get it balanced, but when I got there, they were completely busy and I did not want to wait. Um, that's what I ended up at TJ Maxx. Um, so I'm gonna head over there right now. It's about 9.20 in the morning, so I'm hoping they're not too uh, busy, being that it is um, early. So I'm hoping that I can just get this in there really quick and get it balanced because my weights kept falling out of my tires the other day, which I think I told you guys that. Um, and so I had to go have them take, put my weight back in. So they had to glue it back in. Um, and now um, my car, when I get to about 55, 60, 65, my car um, is like jumpy and I can feel it like vibrating and I, that's not good. And I have to have this all done because I won't have time to do it next week because yay! start my job on Monday. Um, I also have a very fun announcement, which, oh my God, I almost forgot. I got real excited. I'm like, yay, um, about my job. And now I'm like, I can tell you guys the, the now announcement. If you guys missed it last night on my Instagram or on my Facebook page, Angie in Wonderland, and if you guys are not following me on there, I highly suggest that you go do that because I post a lot of stuff on those pages as well. Um, stuff that I do share on my vlogs, but You'll get, you'll catch those pictures and updates or whatever quicker than you would a vlog. Um, so Brian and I last night when he came home from work, we had some dinner, and um, he went outside to wash his car. I spray painted my little mason jars with my pink uh, spray paint, and uh, we decided that we were just going to go ahead and make a little quick weekend trip to Disney in April. So we went ahead and booked an April weekend. Um, so we will leave here on um, the evening of April 12th. Uh, uh, and then we'll drive to like Valdosta and stay the night there. Um, and then we'll drive into uh, Disney the next morning, which will be on a Friday the 13th of April. So we will be there the 13th, the 14th, and leaving the 15th to come back home uh, because obviously both of us have to be back to work on that Monday. Uh, so I'm excited. We've um, already scheduled our fast passes and stuff, and we will be staying at um, the Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, I tried to get Port Orleans Riverside, but they were completely full up for that weekend so um, sadly I was not able to get uh, POR and that's Brian's favorite uh, resort uh, but Caribbean Beach is kind of like my favorite resort um, we you know just uh, for you know shits and giggles I guess you can say um, we looked at the poly and we looked at, where did we look at? The Poly and um, Wilderness Lodge, because Brian's always wanted to stay at the Wilderness Lodge. Um, 
But those were like, I mean, seriously, guys, I would love to stay at the Poly. But seriously, $700 a night for a hotel to sleep in a bed, the same type of bed that you're gonna get at, at a POR or the same bed you're gonna get at Caribbean Beach. So come on. I mean, I get it, I love it. Trust me, if I could stay there, I would. I'm not saying that I wouldn't. That would be like the bomb if I could stay there, but we cannot, oh, we can. Let me just take that back. We can, we just choose not to. There's a big difference. Um, I can, we just can't like justify spending $700 a night to sleep in a bed. We're not gonna be there all day. I, I gotta go in my PO box, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so my car is all done and balanced. It definitely feels so much better. It's like when he put that in there the other day, he needed to like realize he needed to balance the tires at the same time, but obviously he did not do that. Um, but we're all good now, so we're all smooth. It's so nice, which is gonna be so nice. I hate driving because like when I got up to like 50 to 65 miles an hour, it was like so bumpy, I hate that. But anyway, all good now. Um, I actually stopped off at Office Max, if you can see that right there, I like got that big like desk calendar. I picked up a few essentials for my first day of work on Monday, just to be prepared, you know, just in case he doesn't have some of the essentials that I need in order to, you know, do my job and take notes and learn. So I went to Office Max and I picked up a few things uh, because I just, you know, I kind of just wanted to have my own stuff and I just kind of wanted to be a little bit prepared um, which is smart, right? Yeah, it's smart. Um, and then I ran into Walmart really quick and picked up, quick, um, ran into Walmart really quick and picked up a few um, groceries that we needed. And uh, now I'm stopping off at Applebee's and cheating because I have been craving their four cheese mac and cheese. It is so freaking good and I know I totally don't need it. Um, but I've been wanting it so bad and today I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm ordering it, I'm gonna take it home and I'm going to enjoy it, it's so good. I haven't had it in so, so long. And then the rest of my day is gonna be pretty much spent at home um, getting some stuff done. I was gonna go get my nails done today because they need to get done before I start on Monday, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wait and get them done on Sunday since we don't have any plans on Sunday and it's supposed to to rain all day so it just kind of makes it a little easier just to be able to go and get them done on Sunday that way I kind of have something something planned you know something scheduled and then um, a text had just went out to all of the neighbors all the hood um, for a little cookout tomorrow night because it's supposed to be super super nice um, and they're having it like start at like 4 30 or whatever but um, Brian and I will probably be late getting to that uh, depending on how long the NASCAR uh, stuff goes. We're not really sure how um, how all of that's gonna play out with us because we know that parts of, I don't know, we're not really sure how it's gonna go. So we are gonna see. Because we do not have like tickets for the race, we only have tickets for like a VIP pass to get into like the pits and which is considered like a hot pass. So um, yeah, we're not really sure how it's all going to play out, but no, nonetheless, uh, we will be, we'll join our neighbors, you know, later on that evening um, if everything works out. If not, then we'll just go home and stay home, which is fine by me. Fine by me, because after last Saturday, yikes, I don't wanna, I know I'm not drinking, so that is for sure. And uh, so I'm waiting at Applebee's now for them to bring me my lunch and then I'm gonna go home. So I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. So my battery's dying too, so I gotta change that. So see you in a few minutes. My hair is, my hair is like, uh, I didn't curl it because I knew it would just fall out because of the humidity and that's exactly what, that's exactly what is going down. Oh, hang on. So if you guys were wondering what I was talking about, um, the four cheese mac and cheese from Applebee's, this is it. You get like some bacon with it, some chicken, and it's just kind of got like a really good barbecue-y taste, and it's so good. I ate half of it um, already. See, already gone. I ate half of it, um, and the other half I'm going to save for my dinner tonight. So I'm gonna put it away and only eat half of it, not eat the whole thing in one sitting, because mm, guilty, I could. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I'm not going to. So right now though, I'm gonna go get my groceries and bring all those in and um, yeah, and get all that stuff done and put away. And then um, I have to actually film my, 
uh, Easter home haul. So that's what I'm gonna do as well today, yay! And then look what I did yesterday. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. I, I love uh, the way that they turned out. So yesterday I got, I um, spray painted my mason jars. I just have to sand them down a little bit so they look a little scuffy. But here's one of them done. And then there's the other one. I put straws in already. I just have to tie some like ribbon around it if I get around to it. And then <clears throat> this thing is a, a wooden like block. And it actually, it goes with, it's this. It's one of these. So I actually spray painted it pink so it looks so freaking cute i love it um and then these are plates and stuff that i'm not sure what i want to do with right now um i haven't decided if i want to set stuff on my table or not but i don't want to share too much again because i'm about ready to do a easter home tour yay and then i have to sit down as well and do this for you guys show you guys how to make those cute little banners that i put up on my fireplace so freaking easy i can't wait to share that with you guys so let me get some stuff done let me get busy and i'll get back to you guys in a little bit bye Alrighty, so I've been cleaning up my kitchen here a little bit and I wanted to show you guys I had stopped um, picked up one of these little containers these clear containers that I started switching over some of my stuff to like my uh, Dishwashing detergent pods. I switched them from this to this that way It's nice and clear and I can see how much I have left and then when I go to refill them I'll just put them in here and they just sit nicely down here in my little cabinet. So, and then this, I just can throw away. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. I have a few more things that I have to get done. I just put some towels in the dryer, so I'm gonna have to pull those out in just a few minutes and, and fold those up and get those put away. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow, we are beginning at the NASCAR race. Um, so make sure you follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, Angie in Wonderland, because I will be posting and sharing pictures there with all of you to see. But don't forget to subscribe. I think I just said that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye.